And what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan the Game, and I'm back with another Battlefield 3 commentary. And uh, you can already see from the title what this video is going to be about. But first things first, I want to let you guys know that hey, look, I ain't gonna do no fanboyism on this video. This is all from what I really saw. I'm gonna keep it real. To be honest with you, I was always a Sony head at first, and then I bought an Xbox 360. Didn't buy a PS3. Only there was a reason why though, but. You know, I still never went and bought a PS3, even though I more than likely wanted a PS3, and I still kind of do, but I, I've had an Xbox 360, but look, mind you, I'm more of a, a PC person anyway. Um, I believe PC is the master race, and I'm finally glad these consoles are starting to actually step their game up, so you know what that means? The PC is going to step their game up even more. So while you guys have those graphics that we've already had for like the last, you know, three years, <laughs> we're going to get advanced graphics that are way better than the the xbox one and the ps4 but anyway <laughs> i want to talk about the xbox one reveal yes the, the uh, microsoft reveal was today um and yeah the console is going to be called xbox one which is strange because i've always called the original xbox xbox one so i don't know what i'm gonna call it damn you microsoft but yeah they decided to call it the xbox one for some odd reason i guess I don't know, they're trying to be autistic with it or something. I don't know. But, um, you guys remember the PlayStation reveal? The Sony reveal was back in February 21st, I believe. Uh, Sony decided to show off the PlayStation 4. So, Microsoft decided to wait a little bit longer to show their console off. And, I have to say, man, the reveal, it was very boring. Alright, like I said, I'm being real with you. The, re the reveal was boring. And it was mainly because... These things are supposed to be about video games. Now, I kind of called this coming in. I called this coming in that Microsoft was going to focus more on entertainment. I was making little jokes like, yeah, you're going to be able to watch, you know, 600 channels of HD cable on your, your Xbox now and be able to make phone calls, which was funny because they did mention Skype calls. And that's pretty much phone calls. So, <laughs> you can make Skype calls on the Xbox One now. So, that's one of the new features. And they were focusing on, you know, things that I don't think were really relevant or needed for a console such as okay while you're playing the game this is one of the things they were showing off and they were so happy about one of the things that they showed off is you could play the game and like the game has voice recognition the xbox has voice recognition so say if you're playing a game you can go watch tv and then it'll switch over to television and then you can say watch movie and then it'll switch over to the movie uh, listen to mp3 or something on music and it'll switch over to music you know etc etc but that's all pretty much pointless. Like, who doesn't have... Like, my thing is, on my television, you know, when I'm playing the Xbox, I want <laughs> to watch television. I just flip the channel on my remote, pow, pow. I'm looking at television now. Like, are, are you telling me that people are going to be that lazy where they don't even want to reach for a remote and use their fingers to press it? People are going to be so weak in the future. And since, you know, people that are making consoles and technology are wanting us to be that lazy that we have to use the voice. We're going to have the strongest voices in the world. But we are going to be weak physically. <laughs> so, like, that's something, a feature I did not need. And I saw people going all gaga -ga crazy about it. I'm like, what are you going crazy about? Like, you can just turn the channel. Like, it's that simple. Even if you don't even have the remote, you just press the buttons on your television. That's what I normally do. You know, I, I'm sitting in front of the television anyway when I'm playing my Xbox. So, you know, if I want to turn to the television, I just flick, flick, bow, and I'm watching television. That easy. You dig? So... That whole thing was just pointless. I don't understand why th that was a selling point for the Xbox 360 and why people were getting all crazy about it. Um, there was something, oh, also picture in picture. They were boasting about, you know, you can actually snap your little things in on the Xbox. So, you know, if you had your music playing, you could snap it on the corner and stuff like that. So you can basically have picture in picture while you're playing the game. Most televisions do this. My homeboy did this back on the Xbox, the original Xbox. I can't call it the Xbox One anymore, but the original Xbox. You know, he used to have picture in picture on that. My brother used to do it on the original Xbox on his big screen. He would just have the picture in picture. Like, we were watching the Super Bowl. We wanted to know what was going on with the Super Bowl uh, halftime show and wanted to know what was going on. So, we were playing Halo 2, and he put the picture in picture of the Super Bowl on the corner. You dig? So, that's something not to go crazy about. I don't understand it. So, I'm sitting here watching. I'm like, man, are they going to show games? Because um, the Sony reveal showed games. They showed games off rip just about like it was all games and exclusives we didn't see that with xbox reveal there were pretty much no exclusives um 
or nothing like that. It was just mentioning a lot of uh, entertainment. So around when it got to the towards the 30 minute mark, they finally decided to talk about video games. You know, what we came for, video games. That's what consoles are for, gaming. So at this point, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, the Wii U show more games than the Xbox. <laughs> like, I'm tripping. I'm like, man, the Wii U got more games than Xbox right now. So they finally get to it, and they, they bring up EA, and they have an exclusive rights for DLC and stuff with EA Sports. Still nothing big here. You know, we're looking for exclusive games and stuff like that. And they finally bring up, they have like 15 new IPs. I don't know why, when they said that part, because around that, that time I lost interest, and I really wasn't paying attention. I was more on Twitter just trolling uh, Xbox, because I'm like, man, like this is the most fail <laughs> reveal I've ever seen in my life. So I saw people mentioning that they have 15 new IPs that are exclusive to the Xbox. I don't know what those are, but I'm, if I remember correctly, Xbox the, uh, 360 had a lot of uh, exclusive IPs, and now they're all gone, and Sony still is going strong and adding more. And, you know, Sony showed off RIP their new IPs and exclusive IPs, you know. And that's, that's another thing that failed about the reveal. Like, we didn't get any actual gameplay. We got all these CG trailers. That were trying to fake us into thinking those were the gameplay and the graphics. Like, they didn't fool me. Like, I was fooled back when I saw in 05 the Madden 06 trailer that they showed. And I was like, man, that's how it's going to look on the 360. And no, that's not what we got when we finally got Madden 06. And the trailer looked exactly the same to me. So, man, he gave me the duke on that <laughs> with that shotgun, boy. And he was a hundred carol and I'm pretty sure he's hacking. But whatever, he kills me again. I don't know why I ran up there. I just thought I could get him and tsh, failed twice. But... Yeah, man, that, that reveal, I don't know, man. They got to step it up for E3. Hopefully, they actually show us some in-game gameplay on E3. I mean, because Sony actually showed us gameplay. They even went on, um, what's that show called? The Guy from the Man Show. I forgot what his name is. But they went up there with Killzone and actually showed that, yes, it was actual gameplay. You can see that the the two v videos were uh, not identical. They were different from each other. So we know that it was, you know, actual gameplay. But with the Xbox reveal, we didn't get that. Now, the only kind of gameplay I saw with that was at the ending. And I want to do a comment about this, too. I don't want to talk fully about this. I want to just, you know, touch on it. But they showed Call of Duty 3 and the hype train is back. To me, <laughs> it was funny because Call of Duty 3 looked like the BF3 version of, uh, I mean, the, the PC version of BF3. Like, Call of Duty Ghost, like, that's how it looked to me. I wasn't amazed by the graphics whatsoever. I was like, well, it looks kind of like Battlefield 3. <laughs> on the PC like I'm not amazed a lot of people getting all hyped about it they actually added something that BF3 has where you jump over the wall and they uh hurdle it instead of climbing up on it you know that's something that BF3 already had um they added a slide thing they, they put lean in the console version it was already on a PC version remember I showed uh, Black Ops 2 it was already there but yeah man the reveal it was pretty much a fail to me, man. But um, leave some feedback on how, what do you think about it. Do you think it was good? Uh, did you think it was bad? What do you prefer? But this is your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, and I'm gone. Bye.